Hey, welcome back to the Canva tutorial playlist where I'm helping you create all of your own budgeting money worksheets and money trackers and money planners so that you can skip the Etsy shop and make these on your own in literally just a few minutes and customize exactly how you want. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to make your own monthly budget planner. So these are one page planner worksheets that you can use every single month to track your budget. I am on the homepage of Canva. I am logged into my pro account, but we're not going to use any of the paid pro account features for this tutorial. So you can do this all for free. You just need to create a login and get onto your homepage. So what we're going to do is go into the search bar here. And we're going to type in budget planner. So when it comes to this, if you are new to Canva, realize that there are so many different free tutorial or um, free templates that you can take advantage of. Don't go thinking you need to make everything hand you know, all on your own, there are templates for it. So what I'm looking for, if I'm looking as a free account user, I look for these, these are templates that you won't be able to use unless you have a paid subscription. So we're not going to worry about any of those, but what I'll look for here is a template that has a lot of the information I need for a budget planner and mm, looks like this one's really good. So I'm going to click onto that one. And something to realize if you click on the ellipses and go to preview this template, it'll actually show you a whole bunch of different templates that are very similar. That way you don't have to try to just keep scrolling and scrolling, scrolling on that page we were just on. Um, so there are lots of different examples that are very similar to this one. And then you could just click, click customize this template. Now I am on this template and the very first thing that I'm not a fan of is this background. And especially if you're going to be giving this away and people are going to be printing this out, we usually like to keep to black and white. Now when it comes to this as well, I'm going to change this here. I'm just going to go through a few things. I'm going to change all. So this takes us. So all the colors that were that kind of more beigey color are now this more gray color. I'm going to go here and also change this color to, let's just go black. There we go. Okay. I'm not a fan of this either. I personally like some cutesy, uh, titles like this, or even some really cute ones like this one. Now this one is actually one I input myself. So let's actually get out of that so that you can replicate this exactly. We'll go with budget planner here. So let's say you want to go and call this January because let's say you want to sell a monthly budget planner on Etsy or through your website. So when it comes to this, you can have your name and date on there. We can keep that there, but I'm going to actually change this to black change all. So now this is looking a little bit more customized when it comes to selling these on your website. I always go in here, grab a title, copy paste, which is control C control V, send it down to the bottom. I'm going to put that in the center and then you can put www.yourwebsite, of course, .com change opacity or that transparency down to around 20 is pretty typical 15 to 20. And that way, if you give these as like in your email newsletter or whatever it is, you have your website down there. Okay. I still want to change a handful of things here. Just changing colors. Then I want to change font. So as you notice, I keep clicking change all that we don't have to click on every single individual one. That would be really annoying. Okay. So this is essentially a good template a good start, but how do we make this a little bit more interesting? So what I like to do typically is type in something like stars and stars are really fun to spice up things. And let's say you're like, ah, I want it to be a little bit more in the background. Obviously, uh, I'm doing this pretty quick. But this is the, my whole intention is to give you a really good example of how quickly you can do this and how easy that it is to make your own template. Let's see. So let's say you're not stars. One thing I always love to do is swirls. So we can get rid of that, for example, and add this in. That's kind of cute. Let me get rid of this one. Say we add that. Maybe change the transparency. So what's cool is if you're like, oh, I don't remember what transparency this is, just click the copy and that'll add that there. Very cool. So if I scroll out here, 
you have a good example of a monthly budgeting um, planner, if you would, where you have your income, your expenses, some notes that you're, you could write down, totals here. Now, of course, if this is monthly, we need to create one for every month. So I would need you to go to duplicate page. So now I have January and January. You can go here and type in February. If I know how to spell February, February? No, Feb <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I hope y'all are laughing along with me. <laughs> okay, so we got February and then you click on here and we can add in March and so forth. January, February, March. Now, understandably, you can create all the little designs that you want and change that up. You can maybe even change it for each month, for example. Let's go in here and get in, maybe type in heart. Oh, that is cute. Love it. So that is real cute. Oh my. So yeah, so let's say you do February and then March you do like a flower. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. I'm literally making this as we go, you guys. <laughs> So you can go here and copy that opacity. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so you can make these and then just go month by month. Once you have all this, okay? Once you have all these, I always recommend that you type in here and you can put your monthly budget tracker, whatever you want it to be called. Go in here, file, save, or save to a folder if you have any folders pre-made. And then you go into share, share and go to download when you've got it here, you don't want it to be in the PNG or the JPG. Those are photo files. You instead want it to be PDF. So I usually say either PDF standard or PDF print gets a little bit more complicated if you don't understand how it works. But honestly, PDF standard is perfect. And you'll notice here on the select pages, you can go ahead and um, go to all pages where it will print or it'll save as a PDF file with all your pages, or you can just do one individual page, like page two for February, for example. Click download and it will literally download immediately to your computer. So hopefully that gives you a really good um, example of how to make super quick a monthly budget tracker that you can sell, that you can use on your own, um, that doesn't use up ink because it's not in color. So if you're interested in learning more Canva tutorials to make your own printables and your budget worksheets, be sure to subscribe and then follow this playlist where I have tons of others that you can follow along with. Thanks so much for watching.